Studio Calico is a small company from the bluegrass of Kentucky. They began as an online retailer of scrapbook kits in July of 2007, and more recently, they've been diving into manufacturing with their first release in November 2009. They're excited to introduce several new products, including self-adhesive, die-cut, wood veneer shapes, and notions. Also new for this show is their line of color mist known as Mr. Huey's. Hey, Tiffany, can't wait to see what you have. Hey everybody, I am here live with April Foster in Studio Calico. You mentioned you're a new exhibitor, but April was just telling me that actually you exhibited at the Winter Show. Yes, we sure did. Okay, so for two shows you still get to be new. That's right. <laughs> for not brand new, just new. Okay, <laughs> today it's all about Mr. Huey's. You're going to learn everything that you want to know about Mr. Huey's. So April, tell us all about them. Well, he's, he's my boyfriend. <laughs> we love Mr. Huey's mints. They're highly saturated color mints. So when you spray them, and I'll spray it on this piece of white paper here, this is our Applejack color, which coordinates directly with our elementary line, which is brand new to this show. You want to shake it up pretty good just to disperse the color. And here I've used a punch, a scallop circle punch, as my mask. And then I'm spraying onto just regular white cardstock. This is from American Craft. And as you can see, it gets a good saturation with just two sprays. And it doesn't cause my paper to wrinkle or buckle or anything. And it's a nice accent to your page. You can you know, add an embellishment in the center or some journaling. And it, if you have a die cut machine, it's really nice because you can cut all different shapes. As you can see on the layout here, uh, Maggie cut a big ampersand, which is one of my favorite symbols, and she sprayed over it with our white Mr. Huey's mist, which is the only opaque white on the market right now. And these retail for $5.50, so they're a wonderful small purchase, and you don't even have to think about it. You know the color by looking at the bottle. It's really easy to find in your stash and to use on lots of different projects. So how many colors are we seeing here? I haven't counted them. There are 10 colors. We have our classic calico colors, which are available all the time. And then we have our elementary colors, which are a limited edition. So these will only have for a limited amount of time while we have the elementary collection. Because they coordinate perfectly with it. And you can see by the name, we have lunch tray and school house, sunshine, atmosphere, and applejack. So real cool names to go with those. Okay, so you use your mask, you use your Mr. Huey's, you're yes. kind of putting the background to your paper. Right, but you can also miss the negative aspects of shape. So just like Maggie misted the ampersand and mist sprayed all around it, she could have used the negative image of the shape that you create with your die cut and just made an ampersand in white. And then the background stayed orange. Okay, I want to point out to everyone here, as you mentioned, this is the only opaque white. Yes. Look at the coverage on this really dark paper. That is cool. Well, thank you. We worked really hard to get it okay. We didn't accept anything but the best. And then another thing about our mist is, um, because I don't like to think about what color it's going to be when I pick up the bottle, is we color match the mist that sprays to the bottle. So from every angle all the way around the bottle, you can see what it is, what color you're going to pick up, and what color you're going to get on your paper when you spray it. No brainer. <laughs> Sounds easy to me. Love, love that idea. So okay, also, what else do we have? With our lines, we have self-adhesive fabric strips. And these are fun too because they add another element. They're scored at the top. For instance, this is our film strip. And those are just suggested lines. You can use whatever lines you want to. You can cut your own. And you rip them, which is fun. Here, listen. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I love that! It's a way to take out your frustrations in your scrapbook <laughs> room. Oh, cool! Okay. So, I'm taking so wait, it. This is sticky. This is self You, you yes. ripped it right off the back, and there's. You didn't have to take other paper off. No, it's here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So All right. you can pleat it and put it on your page like a ribbon, and you don't have to figure out what adhesive you're going to use to adhere a ribbon to. But what I like to do is create little flowers out of them. So you take it and you twist it, 
and you pleat as you're twisting. We did this with our make and take yesterday at the booth. We made little brooches for our lanyards. And it's fun because each different pattern that you rip a strip from gives you a different looking flower. This is adorable. I love this idea. Oh, thank you. And you can put a button or a brad in the center and it creates the perfect accent for your page. So, tell me again, it's scored at the top at the bottom and then you yes. just decide where you want to rip it. Yes. All right, can I try it? Absolutely. Okay. Wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, wait, I have to hold. Learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quick learning curve. <laughs> Ta-da! I did it. Anybody okay. can rip. Okay. <laughs> Now, how many different designs does fabric come in? Well, currently we have our documentary and elementary collection with UK fabric, and then we also have on the bend down here again. Okay, cool. While you're doing fabric, that, right, I'm going to start making my little flower here. Which is our, I love this herringbone pattern, and this is like a vintage receipt. So you can really get smart looking patterns and fun looking flowers. So there are lots of different applications. You can put flowers on top of pages, on headbands. And for people like me who don't necessarily want to bring out my sewing machine every time I want to do a project, it's really, really nice because it gives you a fabric texture without, you know, all the work. So for those people who may not be close to a store where they can buy your product, where can they contact you online? Yes, we are available at studiocalico.com. We have an online blog and message board, and so you're able to ask questions about the project and find answers, and then um, we're also available in lots of online stores. We do not sell these products online. We allow other retailers to sell them and have the chance to sell them first. All right, so here's what I made, everybody. Let me see. Let's get ourselves adjusted yes. here in a little <laughs> bit. Here's what I made just while April was just chatting. Yes. As she mentioned, I can put a little button. I can put one of my eco delis in the center and um, use this in so many different ways. So, Linda, I uh, think I'm going to go ahead and throw it back to you. Let me know if there's any questions. We'll hang around for a moment. If not, just let me know and we can move back to uh, Lisa. But I'll hang out here for just a moment for you. Thank you. Thanks, Tiffany. Yes, I do have a couple of questions. If you'll pop back in the room, um, just would like for her to highlight what the website is, where they can find the product, and how much the Mr. Huey Misters uh, retail for. We had those questions. Okay. Oh, the, <laughs> I think you were asking how much the Mr. Hueys retail for. They retail for $5.50 for a one-ounce bottle because we found that most people don't squirt through or use the whole two ounce bottle of some of the other yeah, mists on the market. It only took like two little two sprays. Two little sprays. Okay. I mean, these take forever to use up. And a one ounce bottle you can take on a plane with you. <laughs> oh, on. hey. For all those little travel to scrapbook retreat. Okay. I know she was also asking to tell about the web address again. Go real slowly. Web spell it address. out. It's www.studio, S-T-U-D-I-O, Calico, C-A-L-I-C-O.com. Okay, and when they go there, what are they going to find? They're going to find lots of inspiration. We offer monthly kits that have our products in them. We also offer a message board, an online gallery from both the design team and members. And I'm telling you, there's so much inspiration there, and it's all free. All right, we've been visiting with April Foster, Studio Calico. Thank you so Thank you much. Me. We have enjoyed this. Linda, back to you.